Monday, let's do it. LMFX crystal ball contest. You guys a little inside here. It is on USD JPY. You still have a day and five hours to make this decision. So let's go ahead and look at USD JPY. Now USD JPY is bouncing back up here. I'm looking at the four hour chart right now. Now it's on trading view. And what I'm looking for for the close at the end of the week. Okay. All right, you see how strong this wick is. Bulls push back up, close to here, creating support. I'm looking for this to be a bull candle by the end of the week. Maybe come test 110, maybe 111. Depends how fast it rallies back up. So this is what I'm looking at, where it's going to hit 110 and then stay in between 111 and 110.5. So those are my price ranges for the week here. And then, like I said, come Monday, that's when they're going to pull the price out. So it's not about pulling the price out right now. It's about predicting for the future price from the upcoming Monday. So these are my two set prices that I'm targeting right now, somewhere between, you know, 111 and 110. Can it rally back to 112 in one day? It can. I mean, you can see how much they dropped it, I mean, in one day from 110, yeah, like 110.4 and all the way down to like 104.5. That was crazy. So, so obviously it can do that if it wants to. It can. Like I said, when it moves, it moves. And so that's something to pay attention to. But those, my price range right now would be somewhere between, you know, this 110.5 at the end of the week here. And then we'll see if it wants to keep going to break, you know, to break 111. So. That's it, man. That's all I got for you guys. I know it's just a quick video here. And like I said, you never know what might happen to USDJPY. It could just end up tumbling back down. And so I don't know why I have 106 here. That's, oh, maybe I was on, yeah, it was on the four hours. So, so like I said, based on this, you still have a day. Well, hold on. Yeah, you still have one day. In five hours, make your decision. Like I said, I don't make my decision until the very last couple hours. So, and uh, let's see who won first place. Modo Modeling. So, for the Euro, for what I predict the Euro to be at. So, but other than that, like I said, yeah, other than that, 110, 5, 111, somewhere around there, we'll see how strong of an impact it's going to keep going, especially for the Bulls come back. That's it. That's all I got for you guys, man. I hope that you guys are having a great Monday for trading and hope that you guys are catching your pips for this week, your profit for the week. And then I will be doing my crypto, well, pretty much Bitcoin on Friday. So that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Stay tuned.